Hello guys, uh, in today's tutorial, I will show you how we can enable fast CGI cache for WordPress with AppNL. So, to do this, I have uh, fresh WordPress installs on AppNL. So, this is our AppNL. So, uh, there is a common debate with uh, a common and popular debate with uh, which server is uh, fast nginx or light speed so you can uh, you can if you want you can uh, choose uh, nginx or open light speeds both options are enable, uh, available in uh, appnl so just in search with app currently we are uh, running our server nginx server so if you want to uh, disable nginx and want to run uh, light speed so search it on app store light speed and you can see uh, we can install uh, there is option switch open light speed so we can enable it but in my experience i found good results um, compared uh, open light speeds and nginx fast cgi i found better results in uh, fast uh, cgi it's because of uh, we are uh, basic we are running uh, static content static content meant uh, blog content so uh, if you uh, if you are a blogger or a marketer uh, then i suggest you to use nginx or if you run your uh, dynamic content that means e-commerce sites uh, to, for these reasons i suggest you to use open light speed so okay guys uh, so let's start how we can uh, enable first cgi so to do this uh, at first we need to log in our server so i am using mac that's why i using terminal if you are a windows user you can use putty so terminal so first uh, we need to uh, log in our uh, server so SSH CD I downloads and and this is uh, our SS private key so I copy and here's it for permissions okay so now we can log in SSH and then now our uh, username is opc then at the rate get our ip address so go to appnl and copy the ip address from here and back to the terminal and then paste the ip and hit enter so okay guys i am successfully logged in so that's uh, our next step is go to sudo uh, super user so run this command so now we are, we are super user so and then we need to uh, create a direct cache directory so to create a directory run this command i already uh, create a directory so let's see i run this command your terminal so I got this message because I already create this directory that's why it's uh, says file already exists okay guys so in next step uh, we need to add the below codes uh, to our site configurations okay so uh, at first we need to check our uh, site's current states uh, is uh, by default uh, it's CGPI as uh, sorry uh, it first CGI enabled or not okay so to check uh, if first CGI uh, cache enabled uh, on our side so we need to open a new browser so and go to our site without uh, login so and then inspect element and 
in network tab and refresh the page so we can see and click here and in here in response header we are not seeing any x cache uh, x uh, cache hit rate so that means uh, first cgi cache is not uh, it enabled so to enable it uh, our next step is add this code to our config file so i copy the uh, this code and go to our panel and then website and click our website and then go back to config and we need to paste it in server top of the positions and next steps uh, our next step is uh, Comment PHP configurations. I mean this line include enable PHP. I am using PHP 8. That's why uh, it shows PHP 8.0 dot config. So we need to uh, comment for this line. So yes, I mean this line. So I make a comment, add a comment, and then and next step is. Uh, add uh, this block of code so if we have ssl so we need to add uh, this block of block of code it ssl at end so i copy all the block of code make sure all of the code is copy copy and then go back to here and you can see this line in ssl and end and then the space paste it here and we need to change our IP with this line as you can see uh, if you use uh, currently we are using PHP 8 so there is no need to change anything uh, but we need to only um, change our IP address so I copy the IP so I copy IP and paste it in here change to your server IP so paste it here and then remove the extra extra words and then now if you uh, in these sections if you use PHP 7.4 just make sure and change 80 instead of 80 you should uh, choose 7.4 or 7.3 based on your uh, PHP versions and then click save okay guys so now we have added and then uh, we need to install nginx helper plugin so go back to our sites and then in dashboard and plugin and add new search the plugin nginx helper this is the plugin install and activate and settings and uh, mm, it's enable if you uh, don't enable it just make sure the enable and in here uh, parse method you uh, choose delete local server cache files not these ones choose these ones local delete local server cache files and then save all change and parse cache and now we go back to uh, our config file to add this code so i copy this code and go back to our okay so i have made save okay, already saved and now in files we need to go config files so that is our domain and then 
our config file is wp config which is these ones and editor sorry edit okay add this line here okay and save okay so now we can check uh, parse cache again and it mentions uh, look at the Ng nginx cache hit and x uh, cache hit hit from uh, gulopmine.com if you find this parameter that's uh, we can confirm our uh, first CGI is cache is enabled on our site. So go back here again and reload the page. Click goal of mind and in the response header. Now we can see nginx cache is hit and x cache is hit from goal of mind. These two parameter is very very important as I can. Uh, mentions uh, this parameter I mean x cache heat from goal of mind and another one is engine x cache it's if you find these two parameter from uh, Google's uh, inspect elements uh, Chrome inspect element and then network and in headers if you find these two options that's uh, ensure there's a uh, first CGI cache is enabled on your sites so that's it for uh, the tutorial so one more thing I need to mention uh, if you have multiple sites on the same server so if you have multiple sites for the same server I mean uh, so that's we, we no need to uh, we need not to uh, add these option these block of codes in every sites i mean i i have added uh sorry websites go to find and in config uh, i have a i mean this block of code you no need to add this block of code for every site's uh, uh, config sorry uh, every site config so uh, just um skip this steps and rest of the thing just follow rest of the um, uh, steps i mean uh, add uh, comment this line and then add this block of code and change your psp versions and change your server ip and install nginx helper plugin and make sure this settings and add this uh, add this block of line of code in your wpconfig.php um, and you are all set. So that's it for the tutorials. I hope it helps you. Thank you.